Hi everyone, this video we will see how to uh, set up a master slave without uh, SSL, like uh, without RMA key store. So first I already uh, I already set up the uh, key store file. So just uh, to start a generous uh, we will see how the log will be for the RMA and then we will disable then we will disable the RMA uh, server. So this is the uh, message we see we have seen here for RMI and uh, the system property host and more defined uh, created true. So we should not see this this kind of uh, message if we disable the SSL. Okay. Uh, now this we already configured the uh, SSL and our RMA key store. So we have seen all the certificate path and every every information here. So we next we are going to disable our uh, RMI and we're starting the master and slave test again. Okay. Uh, now I'm coming commenting out. I'm stopping the limited of the batch batch file. So it has closed. So we'll for uh, we'll change it to back. So we will we'll have this log uh, as this, and we'll open new terminal again uh, to see that uh, message is defined. So we have created SSL here. Now the port is created. I'm terminating it. Let's terminate it now. To disable the uh, SSL, go to jmeter.property file. jmeter.property file. jmeter. jmeter.properties. Edit your jmeter file. Edit your jmeter file. Search for SSL. Disable. So it is false uh, by default. It's false. So okay, I'm doing the comment and I'm making it true. Disable true. Disable the JMeter. So now JMeter will not use uh, RMA key store to create a uh, master slave connection. Okay. Yeah. So this is the previous connection. What you are seeing now, JMeter server server back. Uh, now I will run the JMeter dot server back now. Now see the the difference between the uh, it's not defined. Now it's here it was not defined before. If you see that uh, it was creating like any RMI creating RMI creating the RMI. Yeah. Okay. Now it's, there is no certificate generated. Even if you don't have a certificate, uh, it will work now. So just the, the thing we can to do uh, is to we need to search for the SSL uh, SSL server RMI. SSL disable to true. By default, JMeter will be using SSL handshake master and slave. So as per your requirement, if it is any not required to have an SSL, then we can disable this by making value from false to true and uncommenting the commenting this line by removing hash in front of this line. Okay, after uh, saving this changes, please uh, restart your JMeter hyphen server back file. Uh, so you should see this uh, text that is like uh, not defined RMI disabling RMI server is set to true disabling the RMI. So before you would have seen the different value. It was created the RMI. If you don't know, have, don't have any this SSL socket details, uh, but here it was disabling the uh, value of SSL. Okay, so there will be no changes in the if you disable or it enable. But just to ensure the security between you and the slave, the master and the slave, uh, JMeter has introduced this SSL handshake property, the uh, connection. So if you feel there is a threat to a network, if somewhere, someone is uh, capturing your traffic from uh, master to slave, so then uh, I, we suggest to use SSL and connect with SSL. If it doesn't matter, then then no security issues on your testing or something then. We can disable it and we can go with uh, false. I mean, we'll disabling the security and we can test it. Now let's start a JMeter. Let's start a JMeter back. Uh, JMeter dot back. JMeter dot back. Just we'll run a single uh, iteration or two, one or two iterations uh, of a test. We can see how it's going to run. Master. So there is no there is no difference in your connection or you are low test, it will not show any impact if you disable SSL or if you enable SSL. That's only part, the difference is it will uh, use 
secure connection to transfer your JMX script to a uh, slave and the metrics what you're getting from the slaves to master that will differ. I mean, that's the way of communication will differ. That's it. That thing will impact on your load test. Now I'm starting the test. Uh, hold this file behind this. Starting the test and start all. We have another button here, remote start play buttons to two play buttons, which you can use. Uh, we are getting the report. Uh, we are, you should get uh, starting. Or test is starting or test. We get the, all the details here. Okay. So this is how we need to start our uh, master slew without uh, SSL handshake between master and slew. So as I already said, there is no difference between the uh, in the load test, it will not impact your load test, so it will not impact your traffic, it will not impact your hits, it will not impact your throughput. Just it will that that the way the difference between the SSL handshake and without SSL handshake is, if you have an SSL handshake, that the data will be uh, transferred to the slaves, or the data will be collected from the slaves to master in a secure connection, if it not normal connection. That's it. Thanks for listening, friends.